reason we often come away cold from reading God's Word is because we do not warm ourselves at the fire of meditation. Those are the words of an old Puritan named Thomas Watson, who observed what I have felt and what I'm sure you have felt in reading the Bible and uh, moving through it pretty quickly and not feeling a connection to our soul and closing it up and feeling like, oh, I don't, I don't remember a thing I read. I surely don't feel uh, much about it. Meditation is perhaps the most important and most misunderstood and most underrated of all the ways of receiving God's Word. We're so prone to read it or maybe even study it, but do we pause, do we give space in our hectic modern lives for this discipline called meditation? Now, meditation is really misunderstood because there are Eastern forms of meditation and popular forms of meditation that are mainly about emptying your mind of content and trying to find some kind of enlightened or peaceful state from a, an empty mind. Biblical meditation is exactly the opposite. Biblical meditation fills the mind with truth from God's Word about Himself, about His Son, about His Gospel, about the world, about sin. We fill our minds with revealed truth from God and then we linger over it, we pause over it. Instead of reading on to the next verse, or on to the next chapter, or on to the next thing to do in our lives, we pause and we ponder the truth. And in meditation, we don't just seek to, to ruminate on the truth uh, in our minds, but in particular to feel the significance of the truth on our hearts. Meditation orients on the heart in bringing God's truth home to feel it, to enjoy it, to feel the weight of that truth in the heart. And so I would encourage you uh, in your Bible reading that as you read that you would look for a verse, look for a few words or a, a phrase to linger over. Maybe you finish up your reading and come back to a spot and, and linger there. Ask God to give you clarity, not just on the meaning, but how you should feel about some truth that he's revealed. And then meditation becomes a beautiful bridge from Bible reading into prayer. Instead of finishing reading, closing the book, going into prayer and moving on to a different subject on our prayer list, uh, meditation is a way to hear what God's saying in his word to really take it to heart, to ponder his word, not just let it run through our mind and right out, but bring it into the heart and then let meditation inspire and lead our prayers. The kinds of things that we would think over and feel about God's word and, and pause over, those are the things to then bring to God and let direct our prayers.